It's just a mask, you guys. Don't be a jerk. It's for the greater good. <laughs> it's just a vaccine, you guys. Don't be a jerk. It's for the greater good. <laughs> In four months, the U.S. was transformed into an obedient socialist country. Government dictated what events are acceptable to attend. Violent protests that instill fear are okay. But church services, family funerals, and patriotic celebrations are dangerous. <laughs> and you bought it without a fight. <laughs> Standing in a graduation line is a safety hazard. Small businesses were forced to close, but crowds to support the corporate money machine at Walmart, Lowe's, and Home Depot are okay. <laughs> Come on, it's just a mask and safety precautions. <laughs> How about a little hush money? <laughs> Here's $2,400 that we stole out of your paycheck in the first place. Enjoy, buy something with it from a big corporation. Cash is dirty, we can't give change. There's a coin shortage, use your card. <laughs> in four months, they convince you to use a traceable card for everything. <laughs> in less than four months, Government closed public schools, then restructured education under the guise of public safety. In less than four months, our government demonstrated how easily people assimilate to guidelines that have no scientific premise whatsoever when you are fearful. <laughs> in less than four months, our government successfully instilled fear in a majority of the population in America that allows them to control every aspect of your life, including what you eat, where you go, who you see, and your toys. most dangerous and terrifying part. People are not afraid of the government who removed their freedom. They're afraid of their neighbors, family, and friends. <laughs> and they hate those that won't comply. It's absolutely terrifying to me that so many people don't question authority. They are willing to surrender their critical thinking skills and independence. They just gave up without thinking, without a fight. Do you know what's coming next? It's just a vaccine. Come on. It's for the greater good. <laughs> Wait until you're told that you can't enter any store or business without proof of the COVID-19 vaccine. Wait until you can't go to public events or get on a plane without proof of receiving the vaccine. Don't think it's possible? <laughs> well, you already allowed the government to say when you can go outside, where you're allowed to go and accepted a new unproven digital education for your kids in the last hundred days. You followed blindly because you were told to do so. Kidding yourself that the mass behavior won't be repeated with a vaccine or whatever the next step is. <laughs> I don't follow politics. I don't care about that stuff. I don't think about it. Six million Jewish people were exterminated in Germany because 97% of the population cowered to populist control. Nobody wanted to think about it. It's easier just to ignore it. But that couldn't happen here in America, right? <laughs> they got you. Without a thought, without a fight. Just like France, just like Russia, just like China. Welcome, comrade. <laughs>